Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at 11. Police are looking for a Pulaski County woman who hasn't been seen or heard from in a month. And as LEXAT's Jacqueline Nye reports, Leanna Brumley's friends and loved ones say when she went silent on social media, they knew something wasn't right. That's the LEX 18 big story at 11. Take a look at this picture. This is Leanna Brumley. Her close friend, Seeger Dalton, says they haven't seen or heard from Leanna in a month. Leanna usually messages me at least once a day, at least, if she's busy throughout the day, depending on where she's at. Um, the last message I'd gotten was on May 22nd. Then her social media presence went dark. Dalton says that was an alarming sign given how active she is online. Even more worrisome was a message she sent Dalton saying she was in danger. And she was asking for help. By the time I responded back and seen it and said by who, you know, she said that she was trapped. Um, she read it and then it was like, Everything went blank. She hadn't been on Messenger since then. The Sheriff's Department has executed a search warrant in a remote area of the county. Uh, me and the fa my family and stuff, you know, we've done everything that we could, like with searching certain areas and stuff like that and getting a little search crews, you know, with family and friends trying to, you know, locate it, lo like following up on any leads that we could. Investigators say they have interviews lined up with people who may know where Leanna is, but they stopped short of calling them suspects or persons of interest. You know, you can't help but just think the worst, but pray for the best. The deputy wouldn't divulge any further details about that search warrant, but he said they're following up on many tips, including potential sightings of Leanna in other states. In Pulaski County, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News. Meanwhile, in Laurel County, deputies are asking for help in finding a missing teen. 16-year-old Autumn Campbell was last seen Sunday off Rocky Mountain Lane. She was wearing a black tank top, blue jean shorts, and white Converse shoes. If you know where she is, call the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. It's been 14 years since Sandra Travis vanished from her Graves County home. And yesterday, detectives returned to the Mayfield home after getting information about a possible lead. Sheriff John Hayden says Sandra's husband, Bobby, waited a month before reporting her missing. Soon after, he abandoned the home. Bobby was never arrested and he died in 2014. But recently, the sheriff's office learned of a possible lead. Someone had poured a large slab in front of Sandra's home soon after she disappeared. So detectives returned to Sandra's home to see what was under that concrete. Detectives did not find any sign of Sandra. Still, the sheriff says the effort was worth it. If you had a family member uh, that went missing, uh, you would want, not want your law enforcement to forget about them. Um, you know, we have a duty and responsibility uh, to try to come to a resolution when, when things like this occur. That's our job, it's our duty, and it's the right thing to do. Investigators say Bobby initially claims Sandra went to Illinois to visit their children, and that's where she died. But he later told investigators a trucker came to their home and picked up his wife.